For lesson six, we are going to see what the physics and participates effect does on objects. This is the first mini lesson or project that you can try out with your students and they have a lot of fun doing this one. Remember to try and only guide the students to the responses and let them figure out most of the answers on their own through exploring the behavior and transform menus. Let's use the horizontal anchor. In your project, tap on select to edit and delete. Tap on your cube and make sure you have your transform panel open. Choose a material color and scroll down to where it says physics. Where it says participates, toggle this on. The motion type at the moment is fix. Let's change this to dynamic. And the material type we're gonna choose is lead. So tap on lead. Pinch to zoom out a little bit and tap on your behaviors menu. Tap on plus to add a new behavior and choose custom. Tap on add a trigger to this behavior and choose tap. Make sure your object is selected by tapping on the word choose and making sure the cube is highlighted in green. Tap done in the middle top. Choose add an action to this sequence and we're gonna choose add force. You can see that there's a blue arrow that points directly upwards. Tap play next to add force to preview this behavior. You can see the cube launches up into the air and falls back down quite hard. Pinch to zoom out a little bit more. And if we use the velocity slider going up and tap play, it's kind of disappeared a little bit. Let's pull the velocity slider all the way down and tap play again to preview. It hasn't really moved much at all. So let's move the velocity up just a little bit more. And it's just jumping up and falling back down again. So you can play around with this slider a little bit and see how that changes the add force to this object. Open up your content library by tapping on plus in the top right hand corner. You can either scroll all the way down to the tennis ball or use the search feature and type in tennis ball. Tap on the tennis ball. If you've never used the tennis ball before in Reality Composer, you'll have to wait for it to download from the cloud. Pinch to zoom in, tap on your tennis ball. We're going to apply the same trigger and action sequence to the tennis ball. On our trigger next to affected objects, tap on choose and tap on the tennis ball. So both of our objects are affected with this trigger. On the add force, tap on choose and tap on your tennis ball. It's asking us to update the motion type to dynamic. So let's tap update. Let's tap play next to add force to see what happens. Pinch to zoom out to get a better view. Now that we've added our trigger and our action sequence to our behavior, let's tap play next to the word add force to preview what happens. Can you notice the difference in between how each of the objects behave? This is a really good way to open up discussion with your students and see if they can figure out what is the difference between the cube and what is the difference between the tennis ball. Let's tap on our tennis ball and open up the transform panel again. If we scroll all the way down to our physics, we can see that the material type is rubber. So our tennis ball is behaving in the normal way it would in the real world. Now, what was the material that we added onto our cube? If we tap back onto our cube and scroll down on our transform panel, we can see the material type is lead. This is why our cube is kind of slamming down or hitting hard into the ground because it has a very heavy material type on it. Let's tap play next to AR and tap on one of the objects to see what happens. And tap stop in the bottom middle. Now allow students to play around with the different directions of the add force. So if we open our behavior back up again, pinch to zoom in, you can move the arrow through the 90 degree angle to change how the add force behaves. If I tap and hold on the blue arrow and drag it around to a 45 degree angle. And now I'm gonna tap play next to add force to preview this. We can see that is kind of shooting across diagonally. Let's change the position of the arrow one more time. Pinch to zoom out I'm gonna tap play again next to add force. And you can see that time it kind of rolls along the ground. Let's pull the velocity down a little bit and tap play again. 
you can see not much is really happening, but the tennis ball still rolls quite far. So we'll allow our students to play around with this, changing the velocity and changing the direction of the add force arrow. They can really have a lot of fun with all the different possibilities that this one simple behavior can add to both of these objects. The next part, and probably the most fun part of Reality Composer, is putting this into augmented reality mode and seeing what this looks like in the real world on top of their desk or on the floor in the classroom.